everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to choose the right color of vinyl decking. Now, I've never looked for vinyl decking before. I've been doing this for 20 years and I don't think anyone's ever asked me to choose a vinyl decking color for them. However, my mother is building a sunroom and she wants to put it in because she's got plants everywhere. She just wants it to be easy care, be able to wash it down. She is on a budget, so she doesn't want to put in tile. Plus that's cold in the winter. So she just wants to do this. So first, what I was looking for, what I was hoping would exist was something that maybe looked like some tile, porcelain tile, something you might find in a sunroom, classic and timeless, or something that looked like a wood deck, but perhaps in like the sort of oak color that my mother has in her existing, like in her carriage house. And so that's what I was hoping would be available. All that was available was like gray, like a blue gray, or like a murky, muddy looking browny green color. And then everything else, I don't know what they're trying to duplicate, but it's just this blotchy, I mean, you, you, you're looking at it, it's bad. So, I called one company that it, they appeared to have a couple of different wood lookalikes on their site. And she said, well, we have a brown color. And I said, oh, I see. Okay, so that's espresso brown. I'm not interested in that. I mean, that's the Tuscan trend. She's like, oh no, it's not that dark. It's a little lighter. And I said, oh, great. Well, can you like send me a picture? She said, oh no, we can't do that. You can come here to the showroom and look at it. I said, I know, but <laughs> I only need to take one look at it. I'm going to know whether it's going to work or not. So she transfers me to someone else. So then that person said the same thing. She's like, maybe the rep can send you a picture. I said, this is not difficult. I do e-design all over North America and everything is sent through photos. I said, just put it against a piece of white paper and send it to me. Well, it wasn't forthcoming. So I called my contractor and I said, hey, why were they so unhelpful? And he said, well, that's because really they are interested in volume. They work with builders and that's that's really all they care about. They don't care about the one-off homeowner. And that's when I realized that's why the colors are so bad. So then my contractor said, well, you know, the reason why I like to use that supplier is because they're local. I can pick up the product anytime. They're really easy to deal with. And that is when I went on a rant. And I said, I'm sorry but I am not gonna put in something ugly into my mother's house. I have a readership of 400,000 readers a month. I'm an internationally known color consultant. Don't you know who I think I am? <laughs> and I said, um, yeah, you know, this is the reason why the unsuspecting homeowner ends up with products that should never exist in their house because the contractor says, well, here are your like four choices, pick one, right? So they don't realize there's something better. And this is the bottom line. I am not gonna look at something ugly for 10 to 15 years or however long my mother's gonna live there just because I could get the product today instead of waiting two or three weeks. I'll wait and so will my mother, okay? That's how it's gonna go down. <laughs> So that evening, I went through them all. I clicked on every single one to see what it looked like installed. And I realized there's actually nothing better. Mm -hmm. So the next day I called them up and I said, yeah, hi, um, you were right. Actually, there is nothing better now that I've seen it all. And um, I am now prepared to choose from your collection. Well, he thought that was very funny indeed. <laughs> but he's a really great guy and uh, I was very happy that we're dealing with him. And anyway, so this is what I chose. A pink, beige, and cream, the palest one of the collection. It's okay, it's fine. It kind of actually, in, it's in the same realm as the that's my mother's floor in the end and I would rather spend more money on the decorating and an outdoor rug, indoor outdoor rug that's going to 
draw the eye as long as this thing wasn't going to be a blotchy, dark, busy color. That's all I really cared about. But if you are in the market for vinyl decking, the choices are slim. And my advice to you is that you choose something light and pale and stay away from the trendy grays or anything too dark because then it shows everything as well. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. If you want to get good at picking color for your clients or you want to be able to explain to your spouse why your color scheme is the right one, check out the links below. You can